I just honestly thought there's no way Dad would miss it no matter what the cost or whatever he did have happened to have an opinion. It couldn't be so. I thought I could be. Hello and good morning from inside the Silverback today, you guys. I am out here starting my part of the day and opening this vlog because it is so early on a Saturday morning. I did not want to wake anybody up in the house, but I am off on a very special, very meaningful adventure today. I am taking off and flying across the country. I am going to Florida, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Some of you may know why. Some of you may know who lives there, but I am headed to the airport right now, bright and early. I'll give you the full rundown, full details of everything that's going down, how this came to be, and what I'm gonna be up to while I'm there. But for right now, I got a plane to catch. I have arrived here at Salt Lake International Airport, a familiar site, place that we have come to love. I just wanna let you guys know I am here a few minutes early as we tend to do, but this time I'm traveling by myself so I don't have additional kids and additional baggage. I am bringing a carry-on, so I'm going to be walking straight through the TSA pre-check and right to the gate. Didn't really need to get here as early as I did, but there's just something about that peace of mind knowing that there's no chance you're gonna miss your flight. I'm here a little bit early, so I thought I would explain to you guys, break down what exactly is going on, why I am going to Florida, why I'm flying all the way across the country, and it was very last minute, guys. These flights were booked. Let's see what time is it now maybe 15 hours ago, very, very last minute. You may or may not know, Fort Lauderdale, Florida happens to be a very hot spot for spring breakers. And because it is, I believe like college spring break, some kind of spring break is going on. Our kids isn't for a while. As you guys know, we're going to Maui for that. This week is one of the busiest anticipated weeks in Fort Lauderdale history. I don't know about history, but because it's been a couple years since people have been out spring breaking at level 100, I think everybody is descending on Florida and it happens to be this weekend. So flights were few and far between you guys as I scoured for flights, trying to find anything that could get me out there. Literally trying to do a turnaround trip flying out on a Saturday, coming home on a Sunday. More on that later, decided to extend just a bit. The available flights were not great. They were not great. In the end, because we do love flying Delta and it ended up being about the same as any of the other airlines as far as cost goes, there was one seat on one plane leaving Salt Lake City today on Delta Airlines and I bought that one seat. It just so happened that the only seat available on the plane was first class. Sorry, Mindy, I promise I did not book that intentionally. <laughs> it was just the only seat that would get me out of Salt Lake City today on the way to Fort Lauderdale and it is not on a direct flight. So I will have a layover in Detroit, but as a 30 minute layover and thankfully being in first class I will be able to get off the plane very quickly one of the first ones off so that I can get on to the next plane because a 30 minute layover is pretty tight not a lot of room for error there can't miss this one because I literally have this tiny window to get to Florida there are no other seats no other flights it's gotta happen so stay tuned follow throughout the traveling journey today to see if I get there at all and if I make it on time before I throw on the traveling mask I just wanted to give you guys some context into what's going on many of you know my brother Jared lives out in Florida he and his wife Brittany they do have a YouTube channel Jared and Britt some of you follow them if you do you know that he is dealing with some stuff right now going through a stressful time in his life a lot of that related to the passing of my dad our dad mine and jared's dad papa bingham and i will check with him to make sure before i put this next part in that he's okay with me sharing it an additional part of that stress he has just been called to serve in our church organization in a very demanding position something that would require a lot of time a lot of effort thought energy everything in our church is volunteer no one gets paid for any of the callings that they have any of the positions that they hold so it's a lot of additional time on his part it wouldn't be like a job it's not like he gets compensation on the other side so it's in addition to the other duties that he's trying to do growing his YouTube channel, starting a family, and maintaining a home in both Utah and Florida. A lot of stress on his shoulders right now, and it just feels like he could probably use a friend. A lot of that is related to the fact that he doesn't have a dad to call anymore and get advice from. Ironically, it's a position within our church that I have once held. So I do feel uniquely qualified in that way to go out, talk to him about it, walk him through it, let him know what to expect. And it is a position that I held at a time that was very difficult in our lives. Between jobs multiple times, we talked about this before when we do our Thanksgiving, paying for people's groceries, to show you guys where we used to live, and what times were like then as we were the recipients of Secret Santa service and had people drop off groceries on our doorsteps and had Mindy's parents donate us cars. Very stressful time financially as well as just that like early part of life when you're raising kids and just figuring out life. And that's when I was called into that position. So I had similarly gone through kind of what he is about to go through and I just thought I could go and give him some brotherly advice. As part of this calling in church this weekend, this Sunday, you will be what's called sustained, set apart, and ordained. I won't give you the full definition of all of those terms but basically it's all going down this weekend and I felt like I needed to be there for that. 
show him my support. Now this is where it takes a turn for the emotional, but this is something that I know without a doubt my dad would be at. There'd be no questions. He would pull out every stop to make sure he was there for that moment. Obviously he can't be there. That's been hard on the whole family. It's been hard, especially I feel like on Jared, obviously my mom. So I'm going out there just doing my best to fill in his shoes, to take over his duties, his responsibilities in being there and supporting Jared. And there's also an ordination process where he's advanced in the priesthood from what's called an elder to a high priest. And because I have once held that calling, I am what they call a high priest in the priesthood. So I'm able to actually ordain him to that office of high priest and give him a blessing. That is something that would have been my dad's job, would have been my dad's role. He he would have been the one to do that. I know that that's who Jared would want to be doing it. We all wish that's who was doing it, but he's gonna have to settle for second place. So that's why I decided to buy a flight about 15 hours ago, jump on a plane, fly across the country, give my brother a hug, because I think he needs it. And even though I'm not Papa, I am his big brother. So I hope that it helps. I hope it's a support to him at this time when he needs it most. And I'm just looking forward to this unforgettable weekend together with him. I am incredibly and immensely grateful that I'm able to do this. Just about any other time in my life, it wouldn't even have been an option. It'd be something that I would dearly want to do, but it would just not be possible. So the fact that I'm able to do this is a huge blessing that I don't take for granted. Thank you guys for being a part of that. Thank you for joining me on this journey across country to give my brother a hug. I gotta go catch a plane. Probably got enough time to grab some breakfast if I want to. And then it is off to first Detroit, then Fort Lauderdale. And tonight I'll be showing up on his doorstep. He has no idea, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. He has no idea I'm coming. I've been coordinating it with Brittany. I'm gonna be staying there with them. She's got the whole thing figured out. I think we're gonna go out to dinner tonight. Should be a lot of fun. While I'm in the air, let's see what the family's doing at home. <laughs> Hello and good morning everyone. I hope you guys are having a fantastic start to your day. I'm having an excellent day. I got to sleep in a little bit. We had the opportunity to go clean the church. The kids did it with me. It was awesome. I went for a run. I actually took Stephanie and Adam and Stephanie's mom out to the house today to check it out. It was so fun. Stephanie's mom actually gave me a couple of ideas because we have an appointment this next week with the finished carpenter so I need to decide how I want the pantry, how I want those kind of things. So I'm going to be talking to everyone I can think of on designs for closets, pantries, all those kind of things because I need all the help I can get. That was fun to take them there. Got to meet more new neighbors. It's been a great day. Crew and Brexton are at their friends. Miss Hazel is here hanging out with me. We're having some fun and she is painting and she's doing such a good job. And you guys know, Brandon is not here today. He is off on an adventure. We're super excited for him. We're just gonna stay home and paint yeah. and make memories and hang out together. successfully through security there. Probably the longest TSA pre-check line I've ever been in. It was almost 30 minutes long. I think it's a lot of spring break travel. The faster check-in time, the faster security line is not necessarily why we do the pre-check. The reason we mainly do it is because of all of the gear that we travel with. Because between the cameras, the drones, the batteries, the cables, hard drives, laptops, tablets, all those things, without fail, my bag would get pulled from security. I'd have to take everything out, wipe everything down, put it all back in before they're letting us through. So there's gotta be a better way than this. So that's why we ended up doing the TSA pre-checks. That part, easy breezy, in and out, no problem with the bags, but very, very busy at the airport today. Time to jump on this plane heading to Detroit, then next stop, Fort Lauderdale. Now the window I have in between flights is very small. It's a 30 minute layover in its entirety, running a few minutes behind. And so what that means is familiar with the traveling process, you usually board 40 minutes before your flight takes off, which means most likely the plane will start boarding 20 minutes before I even land. And I believe right now it's about 40 gates away from where we're landing. So it could be a mad dash to get to the next flight. Wish me luck. Great news, we were actually in 13 minutes early and they changed the gate to only three gates away from where I landed. So I have more than ample time to get onto this plane. That is a huge relief. They also have this really cool train drives through the top of the terminal here in Detroit. I've never seen anything like that. That is pretty rad. Brandon just 
text me. He's landed in Florida. I cannot wait for this next part that is about to happen. I'm waiting for a phone call from him to hear how everything went. He is there to surprise Jared. It is going to be so emotional. I just texted him a little bit ago and I said, every time I think about what you're going to do, I get like a little lump in my throat and I almost cry. This is gonna be so emotional, so incredible. And I'm so grateful Brandon decided to quickly go out there on a whim. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. I'm so excited for them. Hazy and I, she's over here. We have just been cuddling, watching in Kanto. Crew and Brexton have been at their friends. They're about to come here. Fry Guy's just been hanging out. Kids have been having a fantastic day and I think exactly what they wanna be doing. I've arrived in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I have ditched the jacket. It is warm, it is sweaty, it is humid. I am now waiting for an Uber to pick me up. I've got Brittany working with me on the other side, meeting her just outside the building. She's gonna come down, pick me up, take me up to their place right now. But it's going down right now, guys. Got here, I think, just in the nick of time. I had a couple of delays. I'll explain those to you here in a minute right now. In such a hurry just to get in this car, get over there before he suspects something because we have dinner reservations in about 30 minutes. They're supposed to leave for those in about 20 minutes. And it's going to be probably, I would bet, a 30 minute drive in this spring break weekend traffic, despite the fact that it's only a few miles from the airport. Jumping in my Uber now, meeting up with Brittany, and then the surprise is on. Jared, I'm coming for you, buddy. I've made it into the building. Brittany let me in, you guys. She's been coordinating the entire thing. So thanks to her for helping this out, guys. I'm gonna lose it, I'm not oh even there gosh. yet. I know, I I saw him, I was like, this is so surreal. I'm not gonna cry right now. You gotta hold it together. Okay, guys, Brandon and Mindy are mm -hmm. seriously We're amazing. so excited. We're not gonna get into that right now. I'm gonna cry. No, we, we gotta got hold it together. Limit. We gotta hold it together. We, he, he's waiting to go out to dinner right now with Brittany. Does not know that I'm here. Going up right now, I am physically shaking. I'm oh so gosh. nervous, but so excited. My heart is pounding. This is gonna be amazing. The plan is, I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna go in first, and then you're gonna come and knock. knock. Okay, I'll do that. I heard you had something going on this weekend. Oh my gosh, dude. I heard you could use a hug. Oh my gosh. What in the world? Hey, what? Oh my oh god. god. Wait, is this okay? <laughs> this is incredible. It's okay. Wait, so you're gonna ordain me? Yeah, is that okay? Freaking <laughs> yeah, dude. Thank you. Because the dad wouldn't be here. Oh my gosh. That is incredible. Oh my gosh. Dude, I wanted to ask you, but it was so tense. I didn't care. Yeah. It's okay, dude. Oh it's okay. my gosh. I wouldn't miss it. I just honestly thought there's no way dad would miss it no matter what the cost or whatever you could have happened to have an opinion. It couldn't be, so I thought I could be. Yeah, dude. So I'm gonna grab you second place, but I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I really appreciate it. Yeah, I have arrived. I am in Jared and Britt's house right now in their beautiful home. Shocked. <laughs> I am literally speechless right now. Totally shocked. Did you think I was like going to a salesman? What did you think was going on there when I did a little knock? I don't know if there's like an instant replay, but I was like looking at my phone before we walked in. I looked up and I was like, I was just totally It is so hard shocked. to compute and comprehend when the person you're staring at yeah. is on the other side of the country. Yeah. And you're like, I know you're my brother, but something's weird about you being in my hallway. It's a familiar feeling, but yet something's off. And oh, then it, and it hit. But anyways, dude, I am so freaking excited to be here. Brittany, like I said, helped orchestrate this whole thing. Cleaned up the entire place as if it ever gets messy anyway. But under the guise that there was going to be some kind of a party yeah, or something tomorrow. Yeah, I said, I told Jared Well, is there still not a party tomorrow? No, well, yeah, I'm the party. party. <laughs> I told Jared we're having arrived. people over for a special dinner tomorrow to celebrate. So I was like cleaning everything. The room already. I got to show you the room though, because look what Brittany did. She snuck this in while me and Jared were hugging. She snuck in my favorite treats. She oh, threw yeah. down nerd clusters, a giant tub of cotton candy that won't last the night. And then we have Sour Patch and Reese's Pieces. All Birthday, birthday cake, cake flavored. I mean, does Brittany know me or does Brittany know me, you guys? I saw it and I was like, fly across the country to see us, Brandon, we're gonna treat you. Uh, I will fly across the country every week. That's what I get when I arrive, so that's where Seriously, it. the fact that Brand flew across the country is a big deal. Right now, it's spring break here in Fort Lauderdale. Prices to fly out here are just crazy. There's like no it, flights at all. Yeah, and, and everything's the, booked. The fact that he found a flight that worked with times, made the effort. I do believe we actually do have dinner we reservations. Do. We gotta get yeah. to Okay, and we're having seafood because Minnie's not here. Seafood. Yeah! <laughs> we 
we are so stinking stoked and excited. We went out and had an amazing oh meal. It was absolutely incredible. Delicious. Walk the grounds here, the yacht parking lot, if you will. It's Gorgeous. Still can't believe so he called cool. this place home. So cool. We cannot wait for Jared here to be receiving his new calling. For those of you who are familiar with callings in our church organization, he's being added as a member of the bishopric, counselor in the bishopric. He will aid the bishop over the area, and it's a really, really big deal, and it's really, really exciting. It's something that I just would not want to miss. So. Very cool. Oh Very cool. I can still am just complete shock and awe. I cannot <laughs> believe he's yeah. here right now, you guys. It was <laughs> incredible. incredible sacrifice to fly across the country for yeah. sweet Jared. You Amazing. guys have to put up with me staying here, so I feel like it's an even trade, honestly. <laughs> and not only that, guys, I've decided to extend a day, so I'm not going home until Monday. <laughs> so the party continues. we got some business to handle in the morning, but then it's all fun and games after that. Make sure you come back. We love you. Thanks for hanging. Thanks for following me out here. We will see you guys tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. 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 Oh my gosh! <laughs> I heard what? <laughs> I heard we had some dogs. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. I heard you could eat the house. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is that?